I cannot wait to meet him. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm gonna fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Sure enough, that's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila, for a settled planet of the Free Star Collective and, not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country, spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. Okay. We'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger. You're out there a lot, right? In space? Just do us all a favor and never turn it. I'm so excited to see Tony after work. that landed not too long ago?
course while we scan your ship. You're good to go. Have a nice time in Aquila City. We're here. You ready? Because once we get started, I'm gonna be riding your tail till this is over. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a Ko. As in Solomon Ko, first man on Aquila. That tail I mentioned before, the one I think is connected to an artifact, it's something of a family legend. After planet fall, Solomon spent years mapping Aquila. And he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his sensors. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the Empty Nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local gal bank. We'll be heading there. Hold it. By order of Marshal Daniel Blake, I need to inform you we've got some trouble at Gal Bank. Folks might be in danger, so you may want to steer clear. Never a dull moment around here. I know you. You're Sam Coe. The Marshal will be damn glad to have another Free Star Ranger helping out. Afraid your information is a couple years out of date. I guess that'd be the Marshal's call. Frankly, it ain't going well. Looks to be a stalemate. Maybe a little outside help would do some good. Well, I doubt those robbers are gonna let us leisurely peruse the Galbank vault. We better see if we can help move the situation along. If you make a move toward the building, a hostage dies. You planning to tell me your demands at some point? Carry you around here as a joke. Like who? Not you, not one of your rangers, and not these city guards, neither. <sighs> supposed to do with that you need to stand back now I don't mean to be rude but I don't know you now please stand back Aquila City at its finest I see never a dull moment well I'll be damned Sam Cole been a long time I won't hold my breath about you being here to take the badge again uh, listen, Sam, just so you know, I don't blame you for how it went down. For the others, though, you might get a different reception. Thanks. I appreciate you saying so. But I figure some of that reception is owed. Still, I appreciate the sentiment, Marshal. It seems you got a situation. My friend here may be the answer you're looking for. All right, Sam. I'll trust your judgment on this one. Some folks from the Shaw Gang tried to rob the place, but they got spotted by a guard. They took everyone inside hostage, and now they're keeping a watch so we can't move against them. They're using the intercom to communicate. They won't talk to me. Say they don't trust the badge. <laughs> they want a neutral negotiator. In other words, they didn't have a plan for this, so they're stalling while they come up with one. Hmm. All right, I'm willing to allow that. But a few things first. Say what you have to, but whatever they ask for, there's no way in hell I'm giving it to them. Also, there are lives at stake, so don't get cavalier. Find out what they want, and then report back to me. Take it slow and steady. 
Look for every opportunity to de-escalate. You got this. Hey, you in the bank. I'm sending the in a Sean negotiator, so making don't fools shoot. of us all. Hands where I can see him, and don't try nothing. Seems we've got a little excitement on our hands. You're the negotiator, huh? If you think you're just gonna walk up here and get us to surrender, you're dead wrong. Sounds like you don't really give a damn. So tell me, stranger, how do I know you're gonna deal straight with us? I heard that. Okay, so let's talk. We want to guarantee a safe passage to the spaceport and a ship. We'll drop the hostages off somewhere safe in the system. After that, we'll radio back where they are and the Marshal and his crew can come and get them. But if anybody follows us when we break orbit, we start shooting people. Got it? Then persuade the Marshal that it ain't. This whole damn job's gone wrong. It was supposed to be just a quick hit. Clean and simple, you know? So let's just... Let's all try to keep our heads, yeah? Because my guys, they're going crazy in here. I don't know how much longer we can last. What do you mean? You have to believe me, we never meant to take hostages. Damn it! I didn't think of it that way. Maybe you're right. If nobody gets hurt, we won't have to rot in jail for the rest of our lives. It's up to the Marshal to make sure the hostages don't get hurt. Nah, it's too late to back out now. We're seeing this through. You go tell the Marshal to get that ship ready so we can all walk away from this thing without anybody getting hurt. I really don't know how this is gonna end. Those guys are scared. I can tell. I heard every word. He's talking too loud. Sign of fatigue. All that fear and exhaustion are taking a toll. They're not thinking straight. That puts us in a very precarious position. I appreciate your idealism, but there were only ever two ways this could end. You've already ruled out one of them, so that leaves us with only one option. We have to free the hostages by taking out their captors. Problem is, they're keeping me and the guards in sight at all times. If we try to move against them, they'll see us coming. You'd be willing to do that? You've got guts, that's for damn sure. I can't deny that you're right, though. They might not see that coming. Now, I see two ways we can play this. You could ask to see the hostages, and once you're inside, you can make your move. If you're quick, I think you can take them out before they have a chance to respond. But you'll have to shoot to kill. There's also a back door. Most of their attention's focused out front here, so they may not be watching it as closely. This key should unlock it. They've got my girlfriend in there. If she gets hurt, heads are gonna roll. I don't figure those bank robbers can hold on much longer. Here, this is for you. Then, surprise, I should have brought party hats. I spotted it on our last planetary foray. All part of the service. Hey, I'm gonna pick things up one way or the other. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Who knows? Check in with me now and again and I might find more. We won't be able to find Solomon's map. Whatever you say, I'll be waiting.
Thank you so much. Let's see if we can push this back in action. Quite a spectacle, isn't it? They've got the Marshal Bottom. I heard the fight. The hostages, are they safe? Is that so? Shame it had to come to that. But you got the job done saved lives. Here, you've more than earned this. You got us out of a tough spot, and you did it with courage that's not common. As a matter of fact, you might just be Freestar Ranger material. If you're interested, head on over to The Rock and ask for Emma Wilcox. She handles the new recruits. All right. Now that lives aren't on the line, let's get back in Galbank, see if we can get those maps. Sure. Robbery was something else. Just thinking about it gets my heart racing. Okay. All right. The family has a few different deposit boxes secured in here, so let's look around. Here's a copy of the key. Okay, now remember, Solomon was from an earlier generation, so it's not going to be on a slate. The one is a paper, is what we're after. Oh, no. Jacob. Of course that old mule saw this coming. Now we do. I was hoping to avoid the estate when we landed. Cora's gonna be so mad. We really gotta do this. Yeah, well, I don't gotta... I know, it's just... Yeah, you're not wrong. <sighs> All right, fine. He's my dad, okay? We're not exactly on friendly terms. He probably figured I'd come for the maps at some point. Got ahead of me. Family business just wasn't something I wanted to get into, you know? One thing's got nothing to do with the other. I was hoping for a quick in and out. No muss, no fuss. Turns out my luck didn't hold. Listen, there's gonna be a whole lot more of this ahead if I need to talk to my old man, so... I'll try, but... Get ready for it. Ah, is Solomon Coe really all that? Something you think like he's really. That's the rock. Ranger Central. Not a bad bar, too. A mirror wolf at the low house could really use someone helpful like you. Well, well. 
Sam Cole finally decides to darken our doorstep again. You know why I'm here. Oh? And what's that? You come to your senses? Realize where you ought to be for once? I ain't asking again. You ain't asked once. Let's hear it. I want you to say the words about what's more important to you than family. Okay, this was a mistake. The only mistake I'm seeing here is you. Bringing your constellation lackey here instead of my granddaughter. Come to help Sam loot his ancestry? You're not getting those maps. Full stop. I got just as much right to those maps as anyone else in this family. That's exactly right, Sam. We all share Solomon's legacy. Only some of us are around to live up to it, and some of us aren't. All right, that's enough. Come on, let's you and I talk. In private. Hmm. <laughs> Welcome home, Sam. Make your visit short, okay? It's what you do. Give me a sec. <sighs> All right, let's talk options. You're flying in the face of my 30 plus years experience with the man, but all right. I hope you like arguing. What do you want, Constellation? Well, that's not your decision, is it? It's called property by birthright. It stays here. You really believe that, don't you? You think I'm not trying to help him? <laughs> Can't believe I'm saying this. But if I get you out of my hair, then fine. You can have the maps. They're in the other room, here. Key. All right. Let's see if we can find the empty nest. All right, let me think. The way I heard it, the readings he was getting were normal at first, then they bottomed out. And no creature, alien or otherwise, would dare step inside. There. Found it. Oh, boy. <sighs> That's a problem. Well, you ain't wrong. But let's take a look at what we're up against. First, it's in the middle of the frontier, which we already expected. No problems there, but the usual tussling with alien wildlife. But the Empty Nest is a cave right in the middle of Shawgang territory. Same outlaws who held up Galbank. Well, just remember, it's about the artifact, not them. Hurting bad guys puts a smile on your face, that's a bonus. Let's get to that cave. Outside the wall, things get dicey. Asta are no joke. In for us. My brother-in-law just got back from two weeks in Paradiso. You do not want to go outside the city walls. Don't even think about leaving the city. Ashed out there. And they are no joke. And a scanning we go.
blood in my eyes. Some smugglers are not bad folk. Just trying to make a living, really.
company, I think. Get going. Cora was big into rock collecting when she was eight. Not so much anymore. I think that's far enough. Hate to put a hole in the head of Akila's own prodigal son. At least not before we've had a word. You must be Shaw. What I am is disappointed. Samco in the flesh, and he's peddling around the frontier with the has-beens of Constellation. Now you got past my crew, who I pay quite handsomely, I might add. Grabbed something from that weird cave. Probably whatever's been keeping the Ashta away. So, I'm down one hideout. Now, let's talk about what all that's worth to me. Your lives, your credits. One or the other, really. Oh, really? Let's hear it. <laughs> Tough talk. But you've backed it up so far, I'll admit. Don't bullshit me, Constellation. Always good to know someone who can keep their mouth shut. <laughs> Fine. Get the hell out of here before I change my mind. I see you again. You're dead.
I am hey. at your service, Captain. I haven't picked up any kind of frequency or signal coming from it. That doesn't mean much. This thing could be emitting something we can't even detect. As far as we know, we could be building a gigantic bomb that will blow up as soon as we finish it. Or maybe it's some kind of interstellar children's toy. Why would either of those things give the Discoverer visions and music? It's a message. I'm sure of it. We just have to hope that finding more of the pieces will give us some clue. Vasco, I asked you to remind me about something. What was it? Specify the... I think Cora and I can use some downtime, but you let me know if you ever want to team up again. Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co-pilot work as a team. That's non-negotiable. If I'm coming with, that means Cora's on your ship. The most recent request... Likewise. You know where to find us. Spicy food. You said this while you were eating an entire tray of spicy chunks. So, I was instructed to 